Scientists are ready to launch a spacecraft that will smash into a big asteroid to make it change its course away from Earth. Here are the details. NASA reports that it's ready to launch the first part of its planetary defense strategy on November 24th when it plans to launch the DART spacecraft. The spacecraft will be launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Once it gets into space, it will head for a pair of asteroids called the Didymos Binary. The spacecraft is expected to be in position to approach and smash into the smallest of the pair of asteroids by October 2nd in 2022. DART will impact the 160-meter-wide rock at around 21,700 kilometers per hour, nudging it very slightly, but enough to change its orbit slightly. NASA will then measure the change in orbit and use it as very important data for future missions designed to protect Earth from large incoming meteors. NASA previously announced on October 1st that the DART's CUBE satellite was ready. The miniaturized satellite will deploy 10 days before DART's asteroid impact, providing essential footage of the collision and subsequent plume of materials. NASA says DART will be the first demonstration of the kinetic impactor technique, which involves sending one or more large, high-speed spacecraft into the path of an asteroid in space to change its course and speed. If you manage to develop an anti-aging diet or create a time machine, or in some other way manage to be alive and on Earth on the Tuesday afternoon of September 24, 2182, then there is a chance that you might be looking up to see a big asteroid flashing down towards Earth. Here are the details. NPR reports NASA scientists calculated that asteroid Bennu has a higher chance of hitting Earth than previously thought. The scientists used new data from NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft to make a more precise calculation of Bennu's orbit. That spacecraft managed to snatch a sample of dusty pebbles from the asteroid in October last year and is currently on its way back to Earth to drop off the precious cargo. NASA found that the single likeliest impact moment would be on the afternoon of September 24, 2182. On that Tuesday, Bennu has about a 1 in 2,700 chance of hitting Earth. An impact would pack the energy of more than 1.1 billion tons of TNT, roughly 2 million times the energy of last year's devastating port explosion in Beirut, Lebanon. The NASA team reached its revised estimate by pinpointing Bennu's distance from Earth to within about 7 feet at dozens of times between 2019 and 2020. That level of precision is like measuring the distance between the Empire State Building and the Eiffel Tower to within a few thousandths of an inch. The OSIRIS-REx spacecraft arrived at Bennu in late 2018 as NASA's first and humankind's third attempt to sample the surface of an asteroid. The spacecraft managed to successfully snatch a sample in October of 2020 and is currently on its way back to Earth with it. Before grabbing the sample, OSIRIS-REx spent nearly two years orbiting and studying rubble-strewn Bennu. About 66 million years ago, an object estimated to be 6 miles wide, that's almost 10 kilometers wide, slammed into Earth, triggering a cataclysmic series of events that resulted in the demise of non-avian dinosaurs. Now, scientists think they know where that object came from. Here are the details. According to new research by the Southwest Research Institute in Colorado, the Chicxulub impact, which scientists say killed off the dinosaurs, was caused by a giant, dark, primitive asteroid from the outer reaches of the solar system's main asteroid belt, situated between Mars and Jupiter. This region is home to many dark asteroids, which are space rocks with a chemical makeup that makes them appear darker than most asteroids. Geochemical analysis of the crater also suggests that the impacting object was part of a class of carbonaceous chondrites, a primitive group of meteorites that have a relatively high ratio of carbon and were likely formed very early on in the solar system's history. Simulating over hundreds of millions of years, the model showed thermal forces and gravitational tugs from planets periodically slingshotting large asteroids out of the belt. On average, an asteroid more than 6 miles wide from the outer edge of the belt was flung into a collision course with Earth once every 250 million years, the researchers found. This calculation makes such an event five times more common than previously thought and consistent with the Chicxulub crater created just 66 million years ago. After shooting a very powerful gun at a number of very rare meteorites, researchers have found the recipe for stopping massive Earth-killing asteroids from hitting Earth. Here are the details. The New York Times reports that scientists have found the best way to deflect huge asteroids away from Earth. 
Researchers who had spent 20 years using a very special and very powerful gun to shoot projectiles at very rare meteoric rocks recently presented their findings at the 84th annual meeting of the Meteoritical Society held in Chicago. The findings show that the long-held belief that a huge asteroid heading to Earth should be shattered into pieces is not the right way to go. The thinking in the past was to launch a projectile that would hit the space rock head-on and shatter it into pieces small enough to burn up in Earth's atmosphere. But after shooting the extreme velocity gun at NASA's Ames vertical gun range at meteoric rocks, the researchers now say the best defense is to orchestrate a much lighter impact coming from the side of the asteroid's trajectory. In this way, the asteroid is left intact and nudged slightly off its Earth-destroying course. The researchers say the original idea of shattering the asteroid would create too many pieces that would still be likely to hit Earth and cause serious damage. The scientists say their biggest challenge was getting their hands on some of Earth's very rare meteorites. As one of the researchers told the New York Times, it's hard to talk museum curators into giving you a big piece of a meteorite so you can turn it into dust. Over time, the researchers managed to get their hands on 32 of these space rocks. Most bought them from private dealers. The largest, roughly the size of a fist and weighing half a kilogram, cost the team about $900. NASA created a fictional asteroid and set it on course to hit Earth six months after being discovered by humanity's early warning systems. Earth's scientists worked together to stop the doomsday rock from hitting Earth, and this is what happened. NASA reports that it recently hosted a test to see if Earth's best scientists could stop an asteroid from hitting the planet. In the scenario, a fictitious asteroid was detected six months before it would hit Earth. The participants in the simulation considered various missions in which spacecraft could try to destroy the asteroid or deflect it off its path. Most options to deflect an asteroid, such as deflection via a high-energy impact or a gravity tractor or an ion beam shepherd, work by only slightly nudging the targeted space rock. If performed far enough in advance, that small nudge builds up to become a large shift in position by the time the asteroid gets near Earth. But participants concluded that such missions wouldn't be able to get off the ground in the short amount of time before impact. However, they found that using a rocket to deliver a nuclear explosion on or next to the asteroid could save the Earth. Unfortunately, a nuclear bomb would only be able to make a difference if the asteroid was relatively small compared to the giants that had hit Earth in the past. Currently, Earth's early warning system does inspire confidence. Comet Neowise, a 4.8 kilometer wide chunk of space ice, passed within 64 million kilometers of Earth in July. Nobody knew this comet existed until a NASA space telescope discovered it approaching only four months earlier. In 2013, a meteor about 20 meters in diameter entered Earth's atmosphere without warning. It exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, creating a shockwave that broke windows and damaged buildings across the region. More than 1,400 people were injured. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.